The trade deadline has officially passed, and Jalen Johnson is still a member of the Chicago Bears organization. Now, the question is, how long will that remain? Jalen Johnson has already said that he will not engage in contract extension talks with the Chicago Bears. We're going to talk about what that could mean and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central, your number one spot. For everything Chicago Bears related, this is a post-trade deadline special uh, episode. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. So Jalen Johnson was not traded at the trade deadline, and uh, the Chicago Bears was not able to move on from him. It was reported a little bit before that it didn't seem like they were going to move on. And f- uh, shortly thereafter, it came out that Jalen Johnson is going to not engage in any type of, of trade extension. I'm sorry, a contract extension talks with the Chicago Bears for the remaining of the season. And he fully becomes the uh, plan to become a free agent in the offseason this upcoming year. Now, a couple of things have also came out in the the last little bit, right? So over the last 24 hours, we now know that Jalen Johnson is looking to be paid like one of the top corners in the the NFL, and not just one of, the top corner in the NFL. So we've heard that he's looking upwards of about uh, close to $20 million per year. Me, Bobby, and and Steve-O actually had an episode earlier where we were saying, you know, we'd, we'd be content in paying him anywhere between 14 and 15 million with incentives. And that may be the sticking point between him and Ryan Poles right now. Now, Jalen Johnson has already come out as well and said that he doesn't really like the way that the Chicago Bears negotiate. And that really plays into the fact that he is now choosing not to negotiate with the Chicago Bears. Now, the Bears did allow him to go out and try to find a deal. I think that that was in hopes of him, you know, coming to the realization that the money that he wants may not be out there for him from any team, even in the open market. Now, the Chicago Bears have a couple of options at their disposal. They could franchise tag Jalen Johnson with Montez Sweat coming in. I know there is some thought that maybe the Bears may have to uh, franchise tag Montez Sweat. I'm hoping that with what we've uh, seen with the, with the Chicago Bears trading for Sweat, I'm hoping that what that means is that they feel pretty confident or already kind of have talked to his agent the fact of would he be willing to extend to stay here in Chicago. And so if that's the case and they already have a deal in place, they could be fully prepared to go ahead and franchise tag Jalen Johnson, bring him back at that point, try to negotiate, which may be the future for him in the Chicago Bears, or he may walk in the offseason. They may lose a 24-year-old cornerback that is one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. Like I said, I won't have or entertain any conversation where he's not at least top 15. You can even make a conversation for him being in the top 10. And so I don't think it, this is a case in which it's going to be interesting to see how Ryan Poles handles this, right? Uh, if he becomes a free agent, and even if they do franchise tag him, uh, what does that mean? What, is, what kind of precedent does that say? For players that you draft, well, Ryan Poles didn't draft, but was drafted to the Chicago Bears, and you don't really repay that, right? And so, you know, everybody's kind of looking at that to see what Ryan Poles does with paying his own talent because we haven't done a lot of that as of yet. Cole Komet got an extension. Darnell Mooney still hasn't got one, right? So this Jalen Johnson thing may very well set a precedent for the Chicago Bears going forward. So, you know, knowing that, uh, we'll end up seeing, like I said, franchise tag is always an option there as well at the Chicago Bears' disposal. Not one that I'm sure Jalen Johnson is going to be extremely happy with, but it is one at the disposal of the team if they choose to do so and use it for Jalen Johnson. So, you know, when it comes down to it, it's this. it sucks when a, t- a, t- a player and a franchise cannot agree on a contract extension to keep somebody who still has the majority of their career and their prime ahead of them, but t- to talk about it from the standpoint of the organization. They have three young cornerbacks in Tyreek Stevenson, Kyler Gordon, and Terrell Smith that they are very confident in. And this is another draft in which they probably could get a extremely good to, and a, a cornerback that could project to be a starter in the second and third round. So because of that, it may it may take away some of the flexibility that Jalen Johnson has or negotiating power that Jalen Johnson has. But it's really up to him and his agent to really see what they can get out there in the open market uh, to determine if the Chicago Bears are actually offering the best. But we could also be seeing a situation, a scenario where Jalen Johnson does not want to be here with Chicago because he wants to win. And that's something that I think a lot of us haven't talked about as of yet, right? If Jalen Johnson just wants to go to uh, where he can actually compete for something, right? Some, similar to what David Montgomery talked about in being able to go over to Detroit, being able to actually compete for something, that's not something that I can personally hold against him. So we end up seeing uh, this whole thing with Jalen Johnson took a wild turn here in the last couple of days or so. We'll see how it ends up working out. We won't have a resolution to it by the end of the season. Reportedly, as Jalen Johnson does not plan on in- engaging in any type of extension talks with the team. So that means that they're going to have to make a decision. And we'll see where that leads him 
in the future. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that the Bears could franchise tag Jalen Johnson? Do you think they will do that? Do you think that they can eventually work through this depending on how the rest of the season goes and looks now that they do have uh, our strength in that defensive line with Montez Sweat? Or do you think that this is, is, is destined to go towards a divorce? Let me know what you guys think on everything down below. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys are following the show at Shy Bear Central. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, Chicago Bear Central gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, number to do so, 773-242-9336. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. And like I liked in every episode on, Chi Town Up, the Bear Down. Love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Break, break, media. media.